والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى وللآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى صدق الله العظيم الناس بارك الله إن القرآن الكريم very spacious ayat were revealed at times when Allah's Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself was experiencing conditions which was going to be the conditions that the world after him was going to experience. Ayat were revealed which was called practical ayat and the miracle of Quran is that every person who will read that verse how it was revealed on Allah's Nabi when Allah's Nabi was the one who was needing most that verse. It would come, example, the boy read, Alam nashrah laka sadrak. At that time, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was going through a lot of difficulties. He was faced by the opposition of all. Wherever he was hoping this will open a door, the door was closing. But we are seeing one year of difficulty at the moment, and which brought depression in so many lives. Death brought depression. Those that are alive have become dead. When you want to go visit them, they don't want to see. They said, we already saw one leaving, another one leaving. We have buried three people in this house in the last four months. But after that, they all did. Now they don't want to meet each other. That smile has gone. That ayat that came down upon an individual who stood up for humanity. But when he stood up, Nabi Sallallahu nature was very delicate. He was the most delicate that was ever created. Because of which any opposition was extremely difficult for him. Any opposition. He could not see somebody not believing him. Because he was truth in and out. You will not understand the meaning of delicate. Our foot is delicate compared to an elephant, compared to a lion. So that lion when it runs through the forest, those trees and the thorns also break it. But the lion feels nothing. You try and run through it. And you will see how many scratches will come. That's called delicate and not delicate. Allah's Nabi was the most delicate. If something hurts us, it really, really hurt him. If someone accused him, they can accuse us, we become upset. You say, you know who you're talking about? If they had to accuse him, it really, really, really hurt him. Allah would give tasalli, would give consolation, would say that actually they have no problem with you. The real problem they have is with Allah. They're only taking it out on you. Ayat like that will come. After the first, what was called revelation that came, Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam introduced Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the first ayat which he was waiting for for so long an answer to the problems of humanity. When he tasted the first meeting of spiritual power, after that first meeting, there was a gap. During that gap, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went through a lot of difficulties. You may not perhaps understand because me and you don't know the meaning of spiritual ecstasy. But me and you do know the power, meaning of what is called ecstasy in wrong things. The person said, I tasted that drug. Now you try and keep him away from it. He can't. Or that boy who got married and then he went out 40 days jama. You see him during those nights, he's just waiting for the bayan to get finished. He needs to go in his tent, he needs to take out his phone. Now he's crying. I saw that family where the boy and the girl only ate, finished. They got married. They said that the boy will meet after Rukhsati will take place. So nothing tasted. They only ate. And then for the next few months, it was only tears. She was crying, he was crying. Although nothing happened, only ate. Because when you taste some enjoyment and then you pulled away, Allah's Nabi Wasallam tasted the power of spiritual beauty. And then there was a gap. During this gap, Nabi Wasallam went through a very difficult condition that where is he? Where is Jibreel? Why is he not coming? At that time, the surah was revealed, وَالضُّحَى وَالْلَيْلِ إِذَا سَجَى The meaning of the verse is, conditions have come, are going to come, and will come in the future. 
There will be some days where things will be how you wanted it, you call it daytime. And there will be some times when it's nighttime. وَالضُّحَى By the qasam, by the oath of the day when everything is bright. وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا سَجَى And by the oath of night when it envelopes day. Another translation, by the oath of your life when everything was going how you wanted it. وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا سَجَى And by the oath of conditions that come upon me, which now turn the whole thing upside down. <clears throat> Why was the two ayat and how it started the surah and who it was mentioned to? It came on the Nabi of Allah and as a message to the world after <clears throat> that if Allah's Nabi also had to go through conditions, then who do you think you are? You're not going to see conditions. And then the next, مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَى But remember one thing, your Allah has not left you. And your Allah has not become upset with you. مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَى Your Allah has not left you. That ayat was the answer to every man's depression. That when conditions come, he becomes upset and a time comes where he becomes upset with life and then the creator of life. That why he did this? This ayat was to say that you have to have day and you have to have night. <laughs> night coming doesn't mean day will not come. After every night, why we so calm? Because we saw so many times in life after every night was day. But how come when this one period of a virus came one year, then it took the world, non-Muslim is non-Muslim because they got nothing else in front. But why was the Muslim such? We are that nation that the hardest of hard, which is called death, death in your family, death in the battlefield, the hardest of heart is the enemy attacked and they martyred your son. Islam was that religion who said, everyone in that house say, Alhamdulillah, a martyr for Allah. <laughs> we were the only one that said, death is an honor. We were going to tear that night and we were going to distribute barfi also. That woman was going to cry and say, my son is gone. And she was going to start smile and say, he's in Jannah. We're the only one who were given that, that the hardest of hard, which is separation through death. After that comes, my business is going down slightly. The man of stars, I think, is looking at me with a funny eye. Maybe he'll phone me after a few days. We saw one man, he sat on the Dastar Khan. We all ate. We were students at that time. And a student, how a student eats? We all ate. Food never entered his plate. So I thought he got cancer because death. That's the person how he looks. When you were leaving, I asked the one who was with me. So he said, you see this entire line we were driving past. He said, all of this he owns. Those cars, 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 cars. So I said, what is it, cancer? He said, no, the tax man for me. He said, only the call came. And this man even told me he got so much of money that even if he's found guilty, he will sell a couple of properties and it will be finished. He won't die. But when life becomes this, that it must only be day, there must never be night, then you will never love smiling. You will love death. We were the nation that taught us in death is life. The world is living that in life they did. This is one day, one period. Allah's Nabi mm-hmm. spoke about. He said, Be ready. He said, Be ready for fitan. When things will come like the dark night, one after the other. He said, Be ready before the era of the Jal. There will be three periods of drought. <coughs> a drought, normally the world would think that is a drought, meaning there's no rain, no rain, so there's no crops, no crops. So no animals eating. That drought was for the droughts of the people of the farms. We entered into the industrial world. 
In the industrial world, when a drought comes, it means the entire monetary system of the world comes to a standstill. The top, top businesses are just closing down. That's a drought. But when the narration mentioned three years of drought, we don't know the meaning of a year. A year will mean a long period. Whether this is one period, who knows? But it means that there has to be another period and another period. And then when the era of what is known as the real era of the Jal comes, that's even more harder. That's even more harder. So if this one finished us all, and we say the match only started, then where are you going to have strength to stand up for the next? There are some people who are waiting so much for the vaccination that that's my life that. And now when the news came out that they're holding back or the wrong vaccine came to the country or the vaccine that came is killing more people, then that man who put his trust in the vaccination, he died again. <laughs> died again. Death upon death upon death upon death. Allah. A time will come where finally the man said, I lived through so many deaths. I should have died when all the others died. One death and finished. Islam created us that we will live smiling and we will die smiling. Conditions will never take away the smile on the mouth. Allah's Nabi Sallallahu whoever he saw smiling, he said, Adhaq Allah sinna. May Allah let that smile get bigger. We live in a world where they brought something called depression, they brought it on the world. Today in the morning, one friend, one alim of, one friend of mine, he sent one that they made a breakthrough now in the world. Breakthrough, they broke the world, and through that they made a breakthrough, the answer to depression. So what I wrote at the bottom to him: the world is just getting weirder by the day. What answer for depression they found? Breakthrough, and who knows who they're going to do it? There's a certain drug. They say the people of the past, they were called shamans. Shamans were like these witches in the Mongolians. They had the shaman. So he would like read his funny things and he would start seeing the spirits and he would go wild. And then one person is dancing and he would start going around and then smoke would come. And then they would start killing people like anything. So they say this, they, that shaman used to take this drug first. And then it would create that hallucination that they would start seeing the spirits. That that drug was made in the world. Many people who were addicts took that drug. And that drug then would give them that sight. They would see certain things. So they even wrote that this drug took many people to suicide. Today the breakthrough is that drug is so good that when the person takes it, it clears the mind of everything. Everything. Only after that we'll give the therapy for the drug. That is not hard. But at least depression will be solved. And they're not joking in this. The breakthrough for depression, he says, is this drug. The one drug to introduce you to the world of the jinn. Show him everything. Say, clean the mind. One shot. And then let's start again. When the med poison will be the medicine of tomorrow, then you're going to get animals created. At that time, if man can't walk now, you are, must be ready for a harder time. The harder time will be you hear something from your neighbor, you will say, what a world. You hear something from your family, you will say, what a world. Allah save us all. Amen. You might even hear of your own, own family. Because when it enters, it enters everywhere. But the one thing Islam came to teach us is the smile must stay till you die. Wadduha, there will be day and it's going to be night. But for the one who understands that Allah has not left him, then even the night for him becomes day. Even the night becomes day. Hazrat Shah Hakim Muhammad Akhtar Sahib Rahimullah sometimes would read or have someone read, he wrote the Nizam. I remember when the person would recite it in front of him, it would bring tears to his eyes. He says, Kabi ta'ato ke surur me, kabi i'tiraf e kusur me. Sometimes in the happiness that I'm worshipping you, Allah, sometimes when I'm crying and repenting to you, Allah. 
He said, there also I found happiness, here also I found happiness. Both conditions. Then he would say, those that have connected to Allah, Tufan me unkubi sahil mila. That even in the ocean and in the storms of the ocean, they found the shore. He said, the one not connected to Allah, even when standing on the shore, he's drowning. Tufan me di unku sahil mila. Even in the ocean, the one connected to Allah is on the shore. But the one not connected, even if he's on the shore, he's drowning. Have you not found that world today? You feel shy to ask a person, how are you? He, because after that, Alhamdulillah, the whole Inna Lillah will start. <laughs> There's no more Alhamdulillah. There's a whole story, and the story never ends. We saw certain ulama, Allah save us all, they went into depression after hearing the depressing stories of the home, of the nation. So many stories they heard, so many stories, the doctor said his mind could not manage anymore. He had no problem of his own, everyone's problem gave him a problem. What a world! In this world the people of Iman are told, Your Allah has not left you. مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَى وَلَا الْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى But you have to understand that that world is better for you than this world. So had Allah wanted, He could have given it to us. Yes. There would have been no prick. There would have been no thorn. There would have been no, I'm full, I can't eat anymore. We are the people of Allah. We are the one in the masjid. We are the one of Quran. Wasn't it right that Allah gave us whatever we wanted? The girl I wanted, how I wanted, to cook how I want, to bake how I want, to talk how I want, everything what I want. And the girl would have said, the boy who I want. The boy will say, the girl who listens to me. Girl will say, I want the boy who listens to me. If this world was like that, we won't be here also. I lift up my hands, I want Mrs. Perfect. But when she lifts up her hands and asks for Mr. Perfect, I'll disappear. <laughs> because I'm not the one. This world, why did Allah put the thorn in the rose? To show that the best that the world can give will also prick you. <laughs> Well, also, but why? All this world came to do for me and you. It was to show us a sample of what's coming. So Allah gave a rose to show there's a world of roses with no thorns. He gave that pretty, pretty girl. Ask some of those boys, they go in depression. Because they say, why did Allah make them so smart? <laughs> so the answer is to say to you, that if this world is not the wing of a mosquito and she shocked you so much, then when you come into the world where Allah said, this is the world, then understand how shocked you're going to get there. <laughs> she wasn't supposed to shock you this one. This was to say that this is nothing and you're shocked. Now something is going to happen. Wait for it. This world only came as a sample. But when we made the sample everything, in the sample, Allah put one thing in the sample that with every day, night had to come. So He put with the rose a thorn. Why He put the thorn? So every time I held on the rose and the thorn touched me, the thorn was to say, I'm not the real one. The real one is there where there's no thorns. If I'm going to get depressed with the thorn of this rose and if I want the thorn to be removed, there's a fear I will forget that this is the sample. I will start thinking this is the real thing and I will lose my year after. <laughs> when Allah says we gave certain people, we opened up on them everything. And the more we gave them, the more they went. The more they went. Me and you also want give, 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 but I won't go. Everyone will go if everything comes. If every day there's day and there's no night, then a time will come where man will completely forget Allah. But when he dies, he dies, it will become night with no day after. <laughs> this world is a sample. In everything, if you understand the meaning of a sample, you will enjoy the sample 
and you will even smile at the problem. You take the rose and smell it and say, Subhanallah, and you think of the world of roses. Order the original looking at the sample. You will get pricked by the thorn. At that time you won't scream and say, what a rubbish rose. Immediately you will smile and you will say, my Allah reminded that this is not real, that one is real. Then every imtihan of this world will give the same smile. What smile? When the difficulty comes, I will be able to smile. To such an extent, I say this in a lot of bayans. And normally I see people like this one because in their houses it seems they all got this problem. <laughs> that the next time your wife, she says something, you smile. When she asks you, what are you laughing about? You say, you the sample. <laughs> <laughs> you also the sample. So then even in that I laugh. <laughs> that a day will come where she and many like her, unique, 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 will be made again by Allah. Made again, inna ansha'nahunna insha'a. We have recreated them. Faj'alnahunna abkara. We have made them brand new for the husbands. That who, who, some people when they hear who, they think anyone but her. <laughs> Meaning anyone, her also. But immediately Allah said brand new, unique. You might not think your wife could be unique, but when Allah will remodel, she will become more unique. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, who, who is this who? He said, that old woman of this world, whose everything went in, and her eyes had become weak. She couldn't even look, she had nothing. She will be the one that when her husband looks at her, it will be everything. That is just the beginning. After that in Jannah, Whatever Allah could show in this world as a sample is the first level of Jannah. Whatever this sample is, is the first level of Jannah real. But what about after that? After that are those things which this world never even have a sample. So you couldn't give a name. So Almighty Allah just introduced it by saying, فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ مِنْ كُرَّةِ عَيُنْ No individual will ever understand what has been kept hidden for him that's going to bring coolness to his eyes. There's no name for it because there's no sample. وَلَا الْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى Remember that world is better than this. وَلَا سَوْفَ If anyone is sad and he reads this verse, وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى Sofa means soon. Seen comes like very shortly. Sofa means after a little time. وَلَسَوْفَ soon يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ Your Lord is going to give you. If you are translating our language, you are saying, Allah is saying to me and you, O oh my servant, I promise, that very soon I am going to give you so much فَتَرْضَى that you will become more than happy. وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى Who will ever say a thing like It's that father who goes to meet his son in the madrasa and he knows that now his father is going and the son comes running and says, Daddy, don't leave me. And then the father turns around and he says, My son, I promise you, only two more months. After that, your father will give you so much that I promise he'll make you happy. What can the father give? And then when the creator says to the servant, I promise I'll make you happy. Only wait for it. So there will be day, there will be night. When night comes, we understand the day is coming tomorrow again. This world will start lifting itself up. Man's nature is such. And then again another drought might come. And again man will lift up and another drought. Me and you, we must swim over this. Because we understand we got something else in front. I just have to reach that. What is that? That I have to die smiling, happy to meet my Allah and my Allah happy to receive me. My death will not be the problem. My death will be the end of the problem. How it happened that amongst our people, death became the problem? 
That, that was the end of the problem. So we went to the house, everyone was crying. You asked him, why are you crying? He said, he died. He said, you must be happy he passed away. He doesn't have to see the next 10 days. All of us are supposed to be sad because now we have to hear. He also passed away. He also passed away. He doesn't have to hear it now. He's already relaxing. Perhaps you will not understand. Maybe because we looked at the grave and we always saw sand. And he said, I wonder how depressing it must be under there. Wallah, whoever dies, that death is the last day of depression. <laughs> Allah Wasallam <laughs> had a extreme pain before he passed away. Fatima radiallahu anha said, hi, over the pain of my father. He said to her, after tomorrow, your father will never see any difficulty. That was meant for the ummah. No difficulty after tomorrow. No difficulty after tomorrow. If you saw your father suffering, 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 that suffering is supposed to make you sad. And the day he passed away, you're supposed to say, my Allah is now looking after him. No more suffering. No more suffering. There the person is crying, I wish he was suffering somehow. Why he had to die? How much was he going to stay in the world? When death comes, it comes with a gift. Tuhfatul mu'mini al maut. The gift that Allah gives to His servant is called death. The only thing is sometimes when you send a gift, you don't always parcel it in the smartest of boxes. Me and you looked at the box. The box doesn't look so smart. The box got separation written around it. I separate from my wife. I separate from my child. I separate from my business. I separate from my phone. Today that's the hardest separation. <laughs> Some people one day will make wasi and send my phone with me in the grave. <laughs> Something can come. Separation. Then you see that little pain. The last few days there's pain. There might be I have to take him hospital. I might have to put him here. That's the box. But all of us know that when someone is giving a gift, you don't look at the box. You look at the one giving the gift. The person tells you what's in the box. If someone big and rich and generous, if he calls you and he hands you something, you also know that the value of the box is nothing what's inside the box. It could be a smart box sometimes, it could be an ugly box sometimes. But you look at the man, you trust the man, that I know when I look inside, there's not going to be a scorpion. If the president has called you and said a royal gift, then you don't expect anything less than a diamond. You think he will call you and there will be a can of beans. <laughs> but how is it with Allah we don't trust so much? <laughs> that when Allah said, let me give you a gift, and it came with the box, then that individual immediately pulled his hands away and said, I don't want your box. Why? Just because it doesn't look smart. Looking at the hand who sent death, the individual must open the box and he'll find Jannah in the box. Jannah starts the day the eye closes. This world is sampled. Then there's a world called Barzakh. It's not the grave. In the grave the body is left. The soul is already taken. In Barzakh it's the excursion into the different enjoyments of Jannah. You don't get Jannah still every day, meaning every period. It's a new excursion. It's to introduce the individual to the winds of Jannah. Itself it puts him in ecstasy. It's to introduce him to the fruits of Jannah, to the lands of Jannah, to the people of Jannah. Every time they'll open up a new world for him. He will look at that world. When it ends that excursion, he will say to the angel, when will Qiyamah come? The angel will say, relax, there's still a lot to show you. This world is the sample and it's so unique, but it's a thorn. Every sample got a thorn. In Barzakh, it is the real part, but to a small amount. And then comes the real. If this caught us so much, it gets better and then it becomes the best. <laughs> Let not the thrills of this world keep us away from waiting for stage two. We wait for it. Allah's Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, If you understand what I am saying, there will be nothing more beloved to you than death. May Allah make it, we all understand it. All understand it. Just the other day I had one, 
program. So I mentioned this one point. One person found it very amusing. I said when we were a few years ago when Nizam came, that it was in Lord Houses, they used to play it. Meri Ammi, Ijazat De, Mujhe Kashmir, Jane Ka. That, oh my mommy, give me permission. I want to go Kashmir. And I want to go give my life. And I want to do this. So I said when it was playing in the houses, and everyone go like them. Ma, wa, like what a nice Nizam. And while the Nizam is carrying on, he'll even tell that, Mother, give your son permission. Why can't he go? So when the time will come where my son will come and say, My Abba, give me ijazah to give my life for Allah. Then immediately we will stop moving up. <laughs> Why? Because for us, death is disaster. Death is for everyone a gift. And the most blessed gift is that death which comes linked to us for Allah. He died. Most no one's going to die before the time. No one's going to die if they like death. No one doesn't die if they don't like death. Death comes, either you grab the gift or you don't. I will end on one, especially for the old people. Let's say. For the young also, but more for the old. Because many a time when the person is old and he gets a little sick, first thing is, make dua I get better. So we try to tell him that even if you get better, you're not going to get younger. <laughs> you're not going to get younger. There's another world coming. So one example I give, I say, you know when you will be on the bed, and at that time you're old, your spouse of years, who now you're saying, we never fought, we never fought, but we know you'll fought like anything. Because <laughs> we know what's happening behind the scenes. So now I say, you're so good. Not one day. <laughs> and now he starts like cheering, he says, she was with me like this, like that. And then he looks at her and then he says, now, that if I die, who's going to look after her? Who will look after her? Let's say her name is Rabia. So he says, my Rabia, who will look after her? And then Allah Taala then opens one scene of him. So he sees one woman of Jannah coming. And the wind is blowing and her hair is going. And as he's looking, looking, then even if Rabia is talking, he's not. <laughs> and when that girl goes like this, and if she moves her lips, then he'll say, I'm sure Allah will look after her. <laughs> Finished. That's why we have to wait. We trust Allah. That the eye doesn't need to see it before we say, I never knew you were such nice. Once the ear heard it, once we heard it from Rasulullah oh. once we read it in Quran, we have to believe it. We do believe it. But sometimes we just forget it. Death is a gift for every individual, for every believer. It will not come before its time. But may Allah make it when it comes. It must come and we hold it. We must say to the people around, don't cry, because tomorrow I will never cry after. This is my last day of tears. Why must you cry? The poet says, you entered the world in the condition that you were crying and everyone was laughing. He says, now make that effort in the world that when you die, you will go laughing. You can leave everyone crying. You go laughing. Our death must come like that. This world is only stage one. It's not the end. May Allah Taala keep us always smiling Amen. through the barakah of this surah, through the barakah of the entire Quran. Amen. Whatever will come is going to come. The world can try and stop it, or the world creates it. We don't know what funny things are happening out there. Every day a new story. But for the people of Iman, is every day I take a new step, and whatever has to come, I walk. If it bites me and I pass away in it, then death came on its time. And if I manage to go over it, then death is going to come still on its time. I will remain smiling till death. I must remain smiling in death. I must be in my grave smiling. I must stand on the day of Qiyamah smiling. I must smile forever and ever. May Allah make it a reality in Jannatul Firdaus with the Nabi of Allah with all the companions. Allah Taala keep us always, always happy. Allah keep those people around us happy. Allah save us all from depression. Allah save us all from all evil. Baakir da'wana. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil alamin.
ولا عقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أو مسرحين أو مسكرين أو مسوقين أو مسكين الله الله كل ذا بركة of this night الله كل ذا بركة of this place الله كل ذا بركة of the coming month of Ramadan أو الله difficulty is come and go الله it is those that you give strength that can manage every difficulty and those that from who you take away strength, they fall in front of any difficulty. Allah make us the people of steel. Allah make us the people of iman. Allah make us the people of strength. Allah remove the burdens from our back. Allah remove depression from our mind. Allah remove fitan and difficulties from our families. Allah grant us a jannah in this world. Allah grant us a better jannah in the grave. Allah grant us a jannah on the plains of Tayama. Allah grant us jannah to the Allah in this world grant us your ma'iyan, grant us your closeness. Allah in the grave you be with us. Allah on the day of Tayama allow us to be under your shade. Allah in Jannah to be those. Allow us to be those who will see your beauty again and again, again and again, again and again. Allah unite us with the Rasul of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah, as long as we are alive, Allah keep us happy. Allah in the grave make us even more happy. Allah on the day of Qiyama make us even more happy. Allah and then after and after, Allah make us in every second of that stage, in every day of that stage, in every period of that stage, Allah let our happiness increase and increase and never let it stop increasing. Allah in this world protect us from ever doing anything that makes you angry with us. Allah in this world protect us from ever doing anything that makes you angry with us. Allah let death be the most beloved thing in our life. Allah allow death to be the most beloved thing in our life. Allah when death comes, let it come in a condition that we are waiting to come to you. Allah you are happy to receive us. Allah whatever dust, whatever dirt, whatever fall, whatever evil there is on our body, Allah in your kindness, Allah in your kindness, Allah through the barakah of this place, through the barakah of Quran, through the barakah of the coming month of Ramadan, Allah wipe away all of the dirt and dust. Allah wipe away all of the dirt and dust. Allah we are iqrari mujrim. Allah we admit we are the biggest of sinners. Allah you are no as better than we know. We are no pious person. We are no pious individual. We are not worthy of anything from you. Allah you are kareem. You are the one who gives to those who are not worthy. Allah, we admit we are not worthy, but we also claim, Allah, we also say that your kindness falls upon the one that is unworthy. Allah, the most unworthy that he is, is us. Allah, make his heart of your sifat of karam upon all of us. Allah, make us the people of Jannah to Firdaus. Allah, make us those that enter Jannah without any hisab, without any reckoning. Allah, let our graves be the gardens of the gardens of paradise. Allah grant us the best of this world with afiyat, with rizzat, with rahat, with salamati. Protect us from evil, protect us from fitan, protect our progeny from dirt and fall. Allah protect our families from drugs. Allah protect our families from pornography. Allah protect our families from fights and arguments. Allah protect our families from all types of fitan. Allah you be with us. Allah, you be around us. Allah, you look after us. Allah, you protect us. Allah, you make us the cause of the guidance of all those around us. Allah, you make us a light for ourselves and a light for everyone around us. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama salli ta'ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yusifun. والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين